video, I'm going to teach you how to root and flash Clockwork Mod Recovery on the Hisense 07 Pro tablet. Uh, it's a two-in-one process. It's extremely easy. It's really, really simple. So it'll root and put Clockwork Mod Recovery on your device. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure your tablet is the correct model you, that you didn't buy like the light version by chance and you're watching this video to root this is for the pro version so go to settings about tablet and your model number must match this m forty seven zero bsa i'll put that exact spelling in the description below so you guys can't confuse it by some chance also we want to get uh, developer options so you gotta tap build number repeatedly you're gonna get this countdown at the bottom this is now your developer go back go to developer options it's on and what we want to do here is tap USB debugging press OK USB debugging is now on now before we continue any further by following the instructions in this video should something go wrong you could permanently damage your device if that is the case I take no responsibility you'll be following the instructions in this video at your own risk furthermore all credits and props goes to where is my mouse uh, Xbox expert on XDA forums so what I suggest you do is log into XDA forums, hit the thanks button, better yet, even donate to them. Furthermore, I am not a developer, so if you have any technical problems, do not ask me. I most likely will not answer because I wouldn't know what to help you with because I'm not a developer. Any questions you have, direct them in here, you know, log in, just ask in this forum, and I'm sure another developer will be willing to help you out. Um, I'll put a link to this thread in the description below as well. This is where all the original files instructions are. So when you open this link from the description below as mentioned, what we're going to do is scroll down to the second post. Uh, if by some chance something changes here, just be, just read a little bit. Most of it is junk, it's not related to us. It's more for developers, but what we're going to do is scroll down to the second post. Um, right here. You're going to download this raw file, this raw file. I extracted them both to the same directory. I just made a directory on my desktop called root. I extracted them here. If by chumps, some chance when you're extracting the second uh, RAR file, and it's like this file already exists in this directory, you want to overwrite it, I just put yes to all. Okay, so everything's good to go. Um, so what you want to do is hook up the tablet to your computer. Nothing fancy, just simply hook it up with your USB cord. Uh, this is up. And remember, USB debugging mode is on. So your computer, if you haven't done it before, it'll say it's trying to install drivers, it didn't work. Close this, we don't want to you know, send files through back and back. Okay, uh, one more thing I want to warn you guys about. Nothing should get erased on your tablet because this is the first time I'm doing it as well. The, the developer has said that they haven't mentioned that anything will get erased. So nothing should, but if you have any pictures or videos you have, I suggest you back them up now. This is your last chance. With that said, then we'll continue. Okay, so we're ready to root and flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, what I'm going to do is, I made a folder on my desktop called root. And remember, this is where you extracted all your stuff uh, for those two uh, raw files. You're going to see a whole bunch of files, and near the bottom you're going to see recovery and root. Don't worry about recovery. Using the root file alone should uh, root the device and flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. So I'm going to double click root, run. And it's going to be like, this will void your warranty, okay, whatever. Alright, so it's, it's saying that basically your computer might not recognize the device. It's going to help you, press any key. Alright, so here what we're going to do is look for M47 blah blah blah. This is the uh, tablet, okay. I'm going to update the driver. Uh, let's see, browse my computer. What you want to do is help the computer uh, to find the files. So I made my root folder on my desktop, right? So I'm going to go down to, where is it, root. There's USB driver. Okay. If you're on, if you're, I'm on Windows 7. If you're on a different version of Windows, and this might be different for you, please don't ask me for help. Again, ask in the forums below. This should be relatively easy anyway. Press next. It's going to find it. Install. When it's done, we'll continue from there. Okay, so it finished installing. Device manager still up. And you'll notice that um, you'll have this Android phone, Android ADB interface. And you'll no longer see the triangle with the explanation mark for the model number of the tablet. It's imperative that you don't see it in here anymore. It's essential because that means the drivers are installed properly and everything's good to go. If not, you can't continue any further, okay? You must have the drivers installed correctly. Close device manager. 
Okay, so the program says be sure to close device manager. I did that. Press any key. Okay, so it's just pushing root, it looks like. Uh, I'm just literally doing nothing after device manager is done. And it says rooting the device, so it'll take a few minutes. Okay, so I'm still waiting for root to be pushed. This is like a few minute process, as I mentioned earlier, it'll take a few minutes. The device in does indeed restart. Uh, the rooting program does it for you. So the device is still rebooting and we'll continue on from there. Okay, so it says it flashed Clockermod recovery after the tablet has started up. Then um, it says final reboot, and again, I can confirm that the tablet has rebooted a second time, okay? So I assume the first time it just pushed root, uh, the second time it's pushing Clockwork Mod Touch Recovery, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. It's telling me to press any key. Actually, let me just do that right now while you guys are still watching. Pro program closed. So I assume that when my tablet is finished starting up, you should have root and Clockwork Mod Recovery installed and ready to go. So with it started up, let me give it a test. See what we have in here. Uh, there's Super SU, but I'm not satisfied with that. Let me install Titanium Backup and then show you guys that it's actually working properly. Okay, so I've installed Titanium Backup and Titanium Backup Pro, which the Pro version you have to purchase, but anyway, I'm gonna open up Titanium Backup and it should ask me for root access because it's my first time. There it is, grant. Officially, I now have root. Well, what I wanna do now is, uh, boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery and what I'm going to do to get that up and running I use this app called, I think it's called Quick Boot, I can't remember, Quick Boot that's the one. Okay, so when you open Quick Boot, the app, oh, okay, what I'll do is I'll put a link to Titanium Backup in the description below as well and I'll also put a link to Quick Boot in the description as well. When you download Quick Boot, what you can essentially do is when it opens up it gives you a bunch of options. How do you want to power off the device or how do you want to reboot the device? I want to reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So let's see what happens. Uh, oh, you got to give it root access. Uh, I should have mentioned that. And we'll wait and we'll see what happens. Okay, so when I hit uh, recovery in Quick Boot app, it restarted and it had this huge green writing at the middle of the tablet saying recovery. And as you can see, I have booted into Clockwork Mod Recovery. I am now ready for ROMs to be released. In fact, I believe Xbox Expert has already released a ROM. Uh, where is it? Deoxidized version of the stock OS. I believe he removes like 80 megabytes worth of junk, which came on the tablet. Maybe like the Walmart app and a whole bunch of other stuff. If people request it enough, then yeah, I can flash this ROM for you guys. It's really simple from here on out. It's so easy. Um, if you have another ROM you might want me to flash, give me a heads up and I'll do that. Oh, and to boot out of Clockwork Mod Recovery, this is touch. You can use the volume buttons to go up and down and the power button to select, or you can touch. I want to reboot out of here. So reboot system now. Uh, let's see, root can possibly be lost. You want to fix this? Oh, we'll fix root. I have never encountered this kind of problem on an Android device before, but this should fix. Uh, I guess if you restart the tablet, you'll lose root, but this should fix it now. Anyway. Um, so yeah, it, that's that's how you uh, root the Hisense 07 Pro version as well as get root access up and running and Clockwork Mod Recovery and all that good stuff and that's pretty much it. Simple, right? If you found this video useful, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.